Hey guys, uh, out in the garage, I'm in the middle of Electrical 2.0, and you can see I've, I've got my relay board in place. Um, what I've done is I've got the ABS plastic as a backer board, and then I've got six relays. Um, all the grounds go into a common grounding block, and then those are grounded up here. I'll go through that in just a second. All of the power inbound to the relays have a block over here, which is basically just a junction between the relay and the fuse block. So fuse block here, this is a 10 place fuse block. All of the numbering lines up. So this is one through six. And then these, if you can see there, this is one through six. These are junction together. And then my ground actually comes in on number eight over here. And then this one over here goes um, from the bottom up, so one going up to six. Then I have two additional positions here. Um, one of these is going to go to the LEDs for the switch, and the other one I think is going to be a spare. I've got to uh, I've got to just kind of finish up my wiring to see if I'm going to need it. But uh, I've got those wired in, and then again here these are numbered one. Um, and all the way up to 10. Um, I've got uh, six relays and then the others here can just be spares. They come inbound. Uh, I've got a master circuit breaker here and then my master contactor or master relay which is uh, triggered from key on. Um, and then this also here, um, this is my battery charger. Um, so my uh, battery tender port I've got that uh, just kind of tucked up underneath here. I then go from the relay back to the uh, OEM Polaris block here. So we've got key on, ground, and 12 volt. These two large wires, these are the ones that go down to the master contactor for the winch. This comes from the battery. I've gone ahead and wired up. Uh, this is going to be for my heater, um, so I've got that in place, and then the rest of it I've just got to get cleaned up at this point. And you can see I've taken off the dash pad in preparation for working on the heater, but I'm also um, I've got to go in and pull out all the wiring. But I just wanted to give an update, um, just kind of in line here, and then once we get everything cleaned up and and work on the switches. Uh, the switches are going to be the next project um, going in and rewiring those. So stay tuned, uh, more coming up. Hey guys, next check in on Electrical 2.0. Um, I have got, uh, I think, the under hood portion done. Uh, got everything wired in, got it all uh, loomed up, uh, got the zip ties on, everything going through. Got the, uh, I think I've covered this in the previous video, got the the heater wiring is in, um, got everything is, is wired up. I, I think we're good to go underneath the hood. So um, that's complete. The next thing that uh, I need to do is to wrap up on the inside. And um, first off, I've got to get the, uh, the switch wiring done. Um, when I ran my wires through, uh, if you can see here, I went ahead and marked these so all of these are marked um, or they're unique wires that uh, I know where they uh, where they connect to so anyway um, that's the next step in the process but uh, I'm really pleased with what uh, what everything looks like up here on the front uh, I think this is uh, a little bit cleaner the the one before it uh, was not bad but I do like this this look a bit more uh, a little bit more controlled I need to put a, I, I do think I'm going to use um, this last position here, so I need to put a fuse in there, probably a 5 amp. Um, but uh, overall, looks very good. So stay tuned, and we'll get the switches done next, and uh, get the interior wiring done, but uh, making good progress.